In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Sodium for Minecraft 1.24 or any other version. Before we get started, it's important to note that you will need to have Java installed to your Mac. So if you don't have it already, I will leave that tutorial linked in the description below. The first thing we need to do is to download the correct Minecraft files so we can install the Fabric modding platform later. To do this, you want to open the Minecraft launcher and then you want to select the version of Minecraft you want to install Sodium for. So for this example, we are going to choose 1.21.4. Once Minecraft has opened, this means the files have been installed correctly, so you want to click on Quit Game, and now we can go ahead and download Fabric. To download Fabric, we first need to open our web browser, and you want to go to fabricmc.net, and I'll leave this linked in the description. From here, you want to click on the Download button, and then you want to click on Download Installer, and now I'm going to save the installer to my Mac desktop. We also need to download the Fabric API so our mods can run correctly. So to do this, you want to click on the Fabric API link, and this will take us to the CurseForge website. So all we need to do is click on the Files tab, and then you want to find the correct version of Fabric API for your Minecraft version. So for this example, it's going to be 1.21.4, and then you want to go ahead and click on the Download button. After a few seconds, the download will start, so I'm going to go ahead and download the Fabric API to my desktop. Now we have the Fabric API and the Fabric installer downloaded, we just need to go ahead and install Fabric. So to do this you want to open the Fabric Installer and if you get this error message you want to click on Done and then you want to right click on it and then you want to click on Open. If you're still getting this error message you want to click on Done and then you want to click on your Apple logo in the top left hand corner and click on System Settings. Once you're inside the System Settings you want to scroll down until you find Privacy and Security and then you want to scroll all the way down and you should see the Fabric Installer listed here and you want to click on Open anyway. You get this pop-up, so you want to click on Open anyway, and then you may need to use your Mac password or Touch ID. Once the Fabric Installer opens, it will look like this. So all we need to do is to make sure we're on the Client tab at the very top, and in the drop-down menu, you want to select your Minecraft version. So we're going to select 1.21.4. For the loader version, you want to select the latest version, and you want to make sure Create Profile has been ticked. Once we are ready, you want to click on Install. After a couple of seconds, this is going to successfully install Fabric, and it's going to inform you that you need the Fabric API. So once we're ready, you want to click on OK, and we can close out of the Fabric Installer. Now we've installed Fabric, we just need to install the Fabric API. So to do this, you want to open your Minecraft Launcher, and then you want to click on Installations at the very top, and you should see the Fabric Loader. If you don't see this, you may need to restart your Minecraft Launcher. From here, you want to click on the File icon to open the Installation folder, and then you want to look for the Mods folder. If you don't have one, you may need to create one. So to do this, you want to click on the circle icon at the top, and you want to click on New Folder, and you want to rename it Mods. Once we've done this, you want to click into it, and then we simply need to drag and drop the Fabric API inside of the Mods folder we just created. Now we've done this, we can exit out of the Installations folder, and now we just need to go ahead and install our Sodium mod. To download the Sodium mod, or any other mods, we first need to open our web browser, and you want to go to a modding website of your choice. For this example, I'm going to use modriff.com. From here, we're going to click on Discover Mods, and you want to search for the mods you want to download. Now, for this example, we are going to choose Sodium. Once you're inside the mod page, you want to click on the Versions tab, and then you want to look for the mod version that lines up with your Minecraft version. So for this example, it's going to be the 1.21.4, and it's also for Fabric. So we're going to click into that, and then we're going to click on Download. And now we're going to download the mod to our desktop. Now we have the Sodium mod downloaded, we just need to install it. To do this, you want to open your Minecraft Launcher, and again, you want to go to the Installations tab at the top, and where you see the Fabric Loader, you want to click on the File icon. Once you're inside the Installation folder, you want to click into the Mods folder we created earlier, and then you simply need to drag and drop the Sodium mod inside of the Mods folder. Now we've installed our mod, we can exit out of the File Installation, and then you would click on the Play tab, and to launch that version of Minecraft, you want to make sure that it's been selected here. Now we've done this, you want to click on play. If you've installed Minecraft correctly, it should say the Minecraft version forward slash fabric with mods in brackets. So we can go ahead and start playing Minecraft with our mods just as we normally would. And if I click on video settings, here you can see the Sodium mod. So we can go ahead and change our Sodium video settings just as we normally would. And that's it. So if this video was helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.